This is Shep's Garage, and behind me is our 2021 Audi Q8, aka basically our daily drive, my mom's daily driver, or probably the best SUV we've owned, in my opinion. I've absolutely loved this car, and I absolutely love the spec of this car. I think it is super uh, classy and cool looking, but over the, we've bought this car a year ago, and it's crazy to think that we've owned this car for almost basically a year. We've bought this car a year ago. So today, uh, uh, and after living with it for a little bit, there are a lot of things I do like about it, but there are some things I just don't like about it. So uh, again, not every car is perfect, so here are five things I hate about the our 2021 Audi Q8. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, uh, the, I, my name is Shep. I run a small card channel. My goal is to basically do YouTube as a full-time job, especially with cars. So if you are new to my channel and like my content, feel free to please subscribe down below, uh, comment or like the video, um, and make sure to, if you do subscribe to turn the notifications on so you will not miss another upload of mine. So let's start off with the first thing I hate about this car, and that is at the back, so let's walk. Now again, I really like the back of this, the way this back of this car looks, but there's just one thing I just can't get of why Audi does, and that is fake exhaust. Like this is just like, like a styling thing. Now, the way this car is designed is so like, as you can see, the exhausts are basically, well, surrounded chrome. Like they look like they, these are the exhausts. No, they're fake. Like as you can see uh, with the, uh, Shep's Courage Stick of Truth, as you can see, fake. So, where are the exhausts, you may be wondering. Well, they're actually under there, as you can see, which is kind of a strange place for them. Like, if you design exhausts, right, if you design exhaust to, like, look like they're there, what's the point of designing them in the first place? Like, it's much better to just actually stick them through instead of, uh, leaving it, you know, you get what, you get the point. I don't know why Audi does this. It's like a new trend these days of putting fake exhaust and sticking them under the car. But this car actually doesn't have the S-Line exterior package, which actually hides them a little bit better, honestly. Like it makes the, it actually puts like fake surrounds around them if you get the S-Line package. But since this doesn't have the S-Line package, it, it looks super clear like, yeah, they look like they're exhaust, but they really aren't, so yeah. So, again, I really do uh, not like the back of this car. And I, uh, I do like the back of the car, but I don't like how they're a fake exhaust. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, why, Audi? Why did you do that? Now, let's move on to something else I hate about this car. So, this is the second thing I hate about this car. And, and that is basically the trunk space. Now, the way the Audi Q8 is basically Audi's version of their coupe SUV. It's based on the Q7. So basically, you have a bigger back seat and you also have a sloping roof line, which I actually kind of like. I really do like the look of this car. However, this really does impede with trunk space because of the sloping roof line, as you can see. Um, as you can see with this sloping roof line, there isn't a lot of trunk space back here, which is very, very surprising. Now again, I get it that the back seat kind of takes up that trunk space, and this is the sacrifice you get for a really good looking SUV that the trunk space does impede. But what I don't get is why they had to like sag the roof line so low. It really does impact trunk space, especially when we're going on road trips and such and things like that. So again, it does kind of suck to be honest, but again, you really never pack your trunk that full anyway. We only do it a couple times, uh, a couple times a year. So it really isn't that isn't that bad of a deal. But for the people that really want a practical SUV that do pack their trunks a lot, uh, I would go with an Audi Q7 or something a little bit bigger like that because the Q8 just doesn't have that trunk space. If you're wondering, yes, it's higher number than the Q7, but again. Just because it's a higher number doesn't mean it has like the biggest trunk space. All right, so let's get on to the third thing I don't like about this car. So keep in mind that this is a top notch, a fully loaded Audi Q8. Start it up. This is a top notch Audi Q8 
Premium Plus. So that means that there's like different trims, obviously, if you know Audi, copyright. Uh, there are different trims if you know Audi. There's Premium, which is the base model. Then there's Premium Plus, which is the middle trim. And then there's the Prestige, which is the highest model, right? So this is a fully loaded Premium Plus model. So you, uh, other than, the only thing it's missing is the uh, S-Line exterior pack, but everything else, uh, and the black optics package. It doesn't have an exterior package, but it's a fully loaded optioned car. So you do have the, uh, you do have like the ventilated seats. You do have like the cool, uh, like ambient lighting. Uh, what else do you have? You have the Bang & Olufsen sound system. You have the upgraded wood trim. You have lots of different things, right? But what I don't get is what, so fully loaded, this car was about $77,000. But what I don't get is this headliner so if it's like so the headliner usually in a car like this you would expect that they would line the L headliner in like alcantara or maybe it may at least make it black well no it's actually this normal car headliner that's off white and it's just this like textile headliner which is just ridiculous i mean Again, you're never gonna touch the headliner, but again, it's for really looks wise, this this stuff is really just honestly, it's kind of um, it's kind of crap to be honest with you. I don't know why you still put these in like luxury cars, and as you can see, stuff like this happens where it kind of stains or it gets marks on it sometimes. So I don't know how these happen, just wear and tear. But again, this is all around the car. Now there is, I know, for all the Audi fanboys down below, I know there is an option to get this to be um, like an Alcantara headliner or make it black, but that's only in the prestige model at least for 2021 it's what our audi dealer told us so again i don't like this at all i think it's like when especially when you compare it come look at it closely against the tans uh the beige interior with the black there it just doesn't look good at all i really don't like the look at all and again I feel like when you're spending almost 70, almost 80 grand on a car, I think you definitely deserve to have Alcantara headliner. Alright, so moving on to the fourth, uh, second to last thing. The fourth thing I don't like about this car, and again, it does have something to do with the interior. And that is the, some of the trim pieces in this car. So, start starting off with this, this, uh, piano black trim now again i love the look of piano black trim i think it looks really really good uh however i don't like it when it's in when there's so much of it so obviously it's basically all around the dashboard and all down here starting by the center console this stuff scratches really easily and you get and it gets fingerprinty really easily i honestly i think they went a little bit overboard if you uh, um in my opinion, um, this stuff, it, it scratches super easily, it gets fingerprinty super easily, and it's a pain to clean, and it just doesn't look good. Sure, it looks really good when it's, um, when it, uh, it's clean, but when, it, when you start using it, it, it really just does get, um, uh, it just does get dirty, gets fingerprinty, it's awful. So, in my opinion, I would have loved to have some nice wood trim up here. Yes, I know it goes along with the screen. When you turn the screen off, it looks like it's like this huge piano black piece of panel. But again, it would have been nice to have like some wood up here or maybe, or maybe have ambient lighting up here also. So again, um, again, it would have been nice to have put them have them to put anything else other than piano black trim up here, but then, it, but again, it's for the looks part, and you won't really touch that much anyway. I get it, but it's another thing I don't like about this car. Second piece of trim that I don't like about this car is just down here on the door panel. If you open the door here, again, this is a Q8, so like, look, look at all this. This is scratchy. Plastics. I mean, up here is fine. Up here is fine. It's all leather. Very, very nice. But down here, it's all scratchy plastic, and I don't get it on all four doors. I don't get it with, with car makers and scratchy plastics. This should have been wrapped in leather, kind of like other cars. 
uh, other luxury cars. I know BMW, maybe Mercedes, higher end Audis. Uh, again, this is a premium plus model. I don't know in the prestige, we don't have a prestige. I don't know if this is wrapped in leather. Or, the, or any of this part of the door is wrapped in leather. I haven't been in a Prestige, but if you do have a Prestige, comment down below, is this wrapped in leather? Because if it is, then problem solved. You just have to spend more. But again, almost 80 grand on an Audi. Come on, I think you just definitely deserve some a little bit of higher quality materials. But again, you're never going to touch it anyway, so it really doesn't matter that much. But again, when I do touch it, uh, it's another thing I don't like about this car. And the final thing I hate about the Audi Q8 is the visibility out the back. Now, before you guys comment saying, oh, it has a backup camera. Yes, I know. Backup camera. And you have all these different views. And I know. I know that this, all these views exist. But there are some circumstances where you can't use a backup camera. Like a driving test. I get my license in about two months, and the car that uh, that been the driving school has all these qualifications and everything like that about the final car you take the test on. So the only car that follows in that category is this one because it has five seats. So uh, it has five seats. It has a it has a physical parking brake in the center console. And uh, it's a gasoline-powered car. Now, I know you're saying, like, oh, you can take it on the Tesla. Because we have a Tesla right over there. That car does not have a parking brake in the center console. And it's electric. And the, one of the requirements is it has to be gas. So, I have to learn how to back up without a backup camera in this car in order to pass the parallel parking test. Which sucks. Because when you back up... Because when you try to reverse with this car... There is literally no visibility. I mean, here is my view, as you can see. Do you see the problem? Like, again, again, it's a coupe SUV. I know. The visibility isn't that great anyway. And normally, when you have most cars these days, they're not they're not designing the car so you can see out the back anyway. They're designing the car so you rely on the backup camera when you back out. But for whatever reason, the driving school I'm doing hasn't caught up with that trend yet, and they're making us back up without a backup camera, which is kind of BS in my opinion. So, it's really difficult when you do try it, and if you do have a coupe SUV, or an Audi Q8, or any car to be fair, try back uh, with a backup camera, try backing up without it. It's really hard. And those are five things I hate about our Audi Q8. To be fair, a lot of these are probably going to get resolved or they're probably just in higher models uh, or higher trims or whatever. But those are the five things I do hate about this car. And and yeah, that is the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please feel free to subscribe down below. Turn the post notifications on. Comment down below what other videos you guys want to see. Uh, uh, what other videos you guys want to see on my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.